Good evening, I'm Heather Armstrong. Dustin is on assignment and an exciting one it was. If you were around the lacrosse area, you likely heard the roar of those powerful jet engines. The Blue Angels have returned for some special flights ahead of this weekend's Air Fest. Now, I heard the rumble today at noon, and then at three, that rumble could be heard again. And that's when News 19's Dustin Lukey had his turn to soar with that elite flying force. And he joins us now to talk about it. Dustin, how you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling great right now, Heather. It is just, uh, it, it's warm out here, but what a cool experience getting to fly in one of these elite, precise machines. They're just incredible. It's something that I've dreamed about watching the Blue Angels fly at the Deke Slayton Air Fest all my life growing up. And little did I know that I'd be one of the first to experience this new aircraft this year. Yeah, the Blue Angels in their 75th year are flying now in the FA-18 Super Hornets, which the main difference between that and the legacy Hornets they've used for 34 years prior is slightly bigger. It's about 20% bigger uh, than their former aircraft, but every bit as powerful and precise. I mean, we got up to speeds of nearly uh, Mach 1, so nearly the speed of sound, and we are also pulling more than 7 Gs at one point, and I, I, I will admit, uh, you'll see the footage a little later on. I, I, I did lose a little bit of consciousness as we were doing one of those vertical rolls, going straight up, uh, doing a couple of rolls. But uh, I got to give a lot of credit to uh, Lieutenant Julius Bratton, who was the, the best pilot to have on a flight like this. I was in such good hands. And when I was experiencing that, to know that he was experiencing the same G-forces and was still able to fly the plane, it's incredible. So when you watch these Blue Angels this weekend and see the maneuvers they're doing, just think about the, the force on their body and how they're able to, to maintain consciousness and the ability to fly in such close precision. Heather, it's incredible. I know you got to experience it. Uh, are, you, are you getting flashbacks? Are you kind of feeling what it was like Dustin, in 2014? Dustin, you know, I, I was so nervous for you last night. I kept texting you saying, are you going to be able to sleep? Are you going to be able to sleep? Because that takeoff alone it is was, just something else. It, it was hard to do so. And that takeoff was just incredible. Uh, flying low. Uh, and then Lieutenant Bratton said, all right, here we go. And going straight up then. Uh, just a, an undescribable experience. I'm trying my best to put it into words because that's what you want to hear. But coming up tonight at 10, I'll have some of the video. You can see what it looked like inside that cockpit and, and that's just something I will always remember. We'll also hear from Lieutenant Bratton himself on just what it's like to have this as your day job. Oh, Dustin. It, it's incredible. Dustin, and what a great thing that we get to experience because of our job. We get to, yes. you know, see what it's like. All right, thank you. I'm looking forward I'm to so that. I'm so lucky, so thankful. You sure are. Well, Dustin's family was there today. I know his mom and his two boys. We will hear more about that. And also, you can enjoy the Blue Angels with your family this weekend when they perform at Airfest on Saturday and Sunday. But it's in a different format. It's a drive-in format at the airport this year. Tickets are $55 a car through today up to six people in a car. After that, it goes up to $75. If you want more information, you can find it on our website, wxow.com.